Are you wondering if it's the right time to buy or sell Meta stock? In this video, we'll be delving deep into Meta. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, December 7th, 2023. Now, we're back with an even more detailed analysis just for you. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. Missing out on essential updates that could impact your investments would be a shame. Take your trading decisions to the next level with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of December 7, 2023, our system has identified Meta as a buy candidate, with a score of 3.07. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. We'll continue to closely monitor this evaluation to see how it unfolds in the upcoming days. The stock is currently experiencing a strong upward trend, indicating potential growth in the short term. Based on the last three months, there is a projected 10.56% change in the stock value over the next three months. This could result in a return ranging from 2.82% to 18.15%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, the trend suggests a significant 156.07% change. This means there is a potential return ranging from 146.54% to 189.27%, resulting in a price range of $805.18 to $944.74 after a year. Our latest update for Meta brings exciting news, stronger technical forecast for Meta's stock price after Thursday's trading. On the last trading day, which was Thursday, December 7, 2023, the Meta stock price recorded a gain of 2.88%, rising from $317.45 to $326.59. Throughout the day, the stock experienced a 3.29% fluctuation, ranging from a low of $317.77 to a high of $328.24. It's worth noting that the stock price has fallen during 8 of the last 10 days, resulting in a decline of minus 4.36% over this period. However, there is a positive technical sign as both the volume and price have increased, with 4 million more shares being traded compared to the previous day. In total, approximately 15 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to a value of $4.94 billion. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price for Meta's stock was $342.92, while the lowest price was $112.46. At present, the stock price is 4.76% lower than the 52-week high, amounting to a difference of $16.33. Furthermore, it is 15.02% below the all-time high, which occurred on September 1, 2021, when the price reached $384.33. Analyst Ratings On Monday, November 20, 2023, B. Riley Securities gave Meta a neutral grade with a hold action. Also on Monday, November 20, 2023, Wedbush gave Meta an outperform grade with a hold action. Continuing with Monday, November 20, 2023, Wells Fargo gave Meta an equal weight grade with a hold action. Moving to Thursday, October 26, 2023, Goldman Sachs gave Meta a buy grade with a hold action. Lastly, on Thursday, October 26, 2023, KeyBank gave Meta an overweight grade with a hold action. Analysts have given a general buy rating for Meta stock. They strongly recommend buying the stock based on its low PE ratio and price to book ratio. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have a more neutral rating. Let's take a look at the signals identified for Meta stock. Both short and long term moving averages indicate by signals, suggesting a positive forecast for the stock. The relation between these two signals also shows a general by signal, with the short term average positioned above the long term average. In case of any downward corrections, support can be expected at $323.79 and $321.20 levels. 
However, if the stock breaks below any of these levels, sell signals may be issued. Notably, the volume is rising along with the price, which is considered a good technical signal. On the other hand, there have been some negative signals influencing the near short term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, November 22, 2023, resulting in a 4.36% decrease so far. It is anticipated that the stock may continue to fall until a new bottom pivot is found. Additionally, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, is currently indicating a sell signal. Here are some additional signals that you may find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots show a sell signal that occurred 11 days ago. According to the Bollinger indicator, a buy signal was generated 17 days ago. The short-term moving average indicates a buy signal that occurred two days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average also suggests a buy signal two days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal that occurred 23 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. The short moving average shows a sell signal that occurred 7 days ago. On the other hand, the long-term moving average suggests a buy signal 29 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal that occurred 223 days ago. Don't forget to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Meta. Meta stock has some important support levels to watch. Just below today's level, there is accumulated volume support at $299.53 and $297.74. When a stock tests a support level, there is a natural risk involved. If the current support is broken, the stock may fall to the next support level. In this case, Meta finds support just below today's level at $299.53. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $297.74 and $288.35. Don't worry too much about the risk though. This stock is usually traded at a good volume and experiences minor daily changes. So, the risk is considered to be low. In the last day, the stock moved $10.47, 3.29%, between its high and low points. Over the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 2.24%. Before we delve into potential trading levels for Meta, let's quickly go over some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This ratio is crucial as it measures a company's current share price in relation to its per-share earnings. The P-E ratio we are seeing here is relatively normal, which is often observed in businesses with established track records or predictable revenues. Moving on to other news, the next earnings report for Q4 2023 is anticipated to be released on February 7, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report stand at $4.75. It's important to keep an eye on these figures, as they can have a significant impact on stock prices. Today, we'll be discussing potential day trading levels for Meta. If Meta continues its upward trend, the first resistance level to watch out for is at $327.15. If you're not currently holding any shares, it might be wise to wait for the stock to surpass this level before entering a position. However, if you're already invested in Meta, this could be an interesting level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Meta faces its initial support level at $299.53. If this support level holds, it could present a promising entry point for traders looking to take advantage of a potential rebound. The combined average rating for Meta from multiple analysts is buy. Now let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On December 5, 2023, Newsted Jennifer sold 566 shares of Class A common stock. On December 6, 2023, Zuckerberg Mark sold 7,175 shares of Class B common stock. On December 6, 2023, Zuckerberg Mark sold 399 shares of Class A common stock. On December 6, 2023, Zuckerberg Mark sold 1,001 shares of Class A common stock. 
On December 6, 2023, Zuckerberg Mark sold 1,099 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power ratio is negative at minus 70.796. Overall, insiders purchased 28,700 shares and sold 169,311 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is set at $310.22, which represents a decrease of 5.01%. This particular stock tends to have low daily movements, making it a low-risk option for investors. Additionally, we have identified a sell signal from a pivot top that was observed 10 days ago. Is Meta stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, we have identified several positive short-term signals and a general upward trend for Meta stock. This suggests that there may be a buying opportunity at the current level. In fact, we have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock from a sell to a buy candidate. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the stock on the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued. Looking ahead to trading on Friday, December 8, we anticipate that Meta stock will open down by minus $2.39 and start trading at $324.20. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before making any buy or sell decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us is not a reliable basis for your investment choices. By using this information, you accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. We're excited to share our current view of the stock with you. We value your opinion, so please let us know if you agree or disagree by commenting below. We're also curious about your target for the stock. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Our team at Stock Invest wishes you successful trading and a beautiful day.